TV. Today we've got a Wolves versus Chelsea match review for you. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to do this. It was a fairly poor team performance overall. We, we sort of dominated the early exchanges, we had a few good chances. Nothing, nothing major though, nothing we should have scored, no glaring misses, but we, we did sort of dominate Chelsea in the first half until obviously the first and quickly followed the second goal went in. Um, the first goal shouldn't have been a goal full stop, it shouldn't have been a free kick full stop. Pedro Neto clearly drags his foot away from Marcos Alonso um, and doesn't, doesn't even make contact with him let alone it being a foul, um, and he just shamefully dives, to be honest. I'm sure when we when we all watch that on the replay, we can see that that definitely should not have been a free kick. Even the Chelsea fans, we'd hope they'd admit it, because that, that was a terrible refereeing decision. Um, but as for the free kick, there wasn't really much we could do about it. Uh, Mason Mount, fantastic finish past Patricio. I don't think any keeper in the world saving that. It was just a brilliant free kick. Um, and to be honest, I think that goal took the wind out of our sails and we were a bit, we, we were just taken aback by it and subsequently Chelsea went and went and scored the second one very quickly afterwards. Um, Cody lost Giroud and Mount set him through for a great finish, very composed and I said he was the one to watch and <laughs> the Wolves defender didn't watch him and he got through and scored the goal to loop to the winning goal eventually and it sort of took our confidence away and we didn't have the confidence to go back in the second half and even even hint at an equaliser. It was just a poor overall team performance and that will probably be reflected in my player ratings which we'll move on to now. As for my player ratings, this is what I've gone with. The man between the sticks, Rui Patricio, not much he could do, three for the goals, particularly Mason Mount's fantastic free kick, six. Romain Sace and Willy Bolly looked, uh, did quite well to guard the, uh, guard, guard the wingers, didn't let them have too much joy, particularly Willy Bolly, who kept Christian Pulisic quiet for most of the game, but at the end of the day, still conceded two goals, six. Connor Cody, not his greatest game today, pretty much a fault for the, um, for the, sec for the second goal, Letting Giroud run off him and Mount split the defence open. Five. Johnny looked off it. Five. Doherty played pretty well until he got taken off, but didn't have much of an impact. Six. Neves, probably one of the standout performances in a poor set, to be honest. Six. Leander Dendonka looked sloppy. Five. The front three, I have no idea what was wrong with them today. They just looked awful, sloppy, and a bit off it, to be honest. Fives all round. As for the substitutes, I've given Daniel Pedenta six. Didn't look very, didn't look very lively. The game was almost dead by then. We were two 0 down, and by the time he settled into the game, there was not really much more to play for. Um, six. Bruno Jordao mm, came on in the eighty fourth minute. Didn't really make a difference. Na happy for him. That he got his debut, however. Um, but Adam Traore. Came on at half time at the interval, looked dangerous in some places, um, but didn't didn't really trouble the Chelsea defence at all, to be honest. Vinegre looked off it, looked a little bit sloppy, and looked like he didn't really want it at some parts. Five. And finally Giamatinho strung together some good passes in the midfield, but never looked a threat, to be honest. Six. Let's move on to the man of the match. As for my man of the match, I've gone with the Chelsea and English midfielder, Mason Mount. Lit up the game with a fantastic free kick, utterly brilliant whipping, curling action past Bru Patricio. I don't think any keeper's going to save that one. And then set up the second goal, slicing the Wolves defence into a fantastic pass through to Olivier Giroud. Put it on a plate for him and the Frenchman was not going to miss from there. Overall, I think it was a disappointing end to a fantastic uh, Premier League campaign. Obviously, we've still got Wolves to cheer on in the Europa League and still win that competition as long as we get through Olympiacos in the round of 16, who are currently tied one all with 
um, and then we'll progress into the mini tournament in Germany, where we can where we can win the trophy if we get through either Sevilla or Roma, then probably Man United, and then we're looking at it probably into Milan final. We've also got uh, Chelsea to cheer on in a FA Cup final, so that we can secure Europa League qualification. Um, we will still have to go through the qualifiers again. But hopefully with our team and with the new bodies we sign in the summer, we should get through them. Anyway, that's it for this. That's it for this episode. I've got a really cool episode um, of Wolf shirts through the ages. I'm going to be ranking them, my favourites, my least favourite. My socials will be down here. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you next time.